Solving Exponential Inequalities How do we solve exponential inequalities? So be with me as I discuss to you this lesson. Well, we have to familiarize ourselves with the property of inequality because this is a key concept note in solving exponential inequality. Let b or the base be greater than 1, then b to the power of x is greater than b to the power of y if and only if x is greater than y. If 0 is less than base, less than 1, then b to the power of x is greater than b to the power of y if and only if x is less than y. What does this property mean? Well, you have to take note on this. When the base is greater than 1, the inequality symbol does not change whenever you equate their exponents, considering that their bases are already equal. However, when the base is in between 0 and 1, you have to reverse the inequality symbol or you need to change the inequality symbol whenever you equate their exponents. To better understand this property, let's proceed to our illustrative examples. Let's have our first given. 27 is greater than or equal to 3 raised to the exponent x plus 1. The first thing to do is to rewrite 27 as 3 cubed. The purpose of rewriting 27 to 3 cubed is to make sure that expressions are having the same bases. Why? Because whenever they have the same base, we can now equate their exponents and then we can proceed to finding the value of x. So now they have the same bases already. This is what comes next. We have 3 greater than or equal to x plus 1. So now the next step is to transpose 1 on the other side so that we will be isolating x and then simplify. So 3 minus 1 is 2. Therefore, 2 is greater than or equal to x or it is written this way, x is less than or equal to 2. Therefore, the solution set is from negative infinity to positive 2 where 2 is included. Take note. We use the symbol bracket because the inequality symbol here, there is equal to below. Therefore, 2 is included in the solution set. Let's have another example. We have here the given 16 to the power of x is greater than 8 to the power of x plus 1. The first thing to do is to make sure that the bases are equal. So you rewrite that one. Now in this case, we rewrite 16 as 2 to an exponent of 4 and 8 as 2 cubed because 2 to the power of 4 is 16 and 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So they already have the same base. And then we apply the loss of exponent. So we have here power rule, 4 times x is 4x and 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 1 is 3. We actually distribute the exponents so now we can now equate since they already have the same base so that would be 4x is greater than 3x plus 3 group similar expressions so we have 4x minus 3x greater than 3 3x is transposed to the other side and since this is positive it will be negative here so 4x minus 3x is x greater than 3 Therefore, the solution set is 3 to positive infinity. Take note, we use now the symbol parenthesis, not the bracket, since we have this symbol. There is no equal to below. Therefore, in the solution set, 3 is not included. Let's proceed with the third example. But this time, the base is less than 1. So you can see we have here 1 half and on the other side we have 1 8. So to solve this, we need to rewrite 1 8 as 1 half cube because 1 half cube is 1 8. And now they have the same base already. 
So we can now equate our exponents. We have x minus 2 greater than or equal to 3. Now, as you can see, the inequality symbol is reversed. Why? It's because the base is less than 1. Our base is 1 half and this is less than 1. This is what the property of inequality as I've introduced to you earlier, that whenever the base is in between 0 and 1, the inequality symbol changes. That's why we have in here. Pero, if the base is greater than 1, no need to change the inequality symbol. So, let's proceed. X is greater than or equal to 3 plus 2. We transpose negative 2 on the other side. Simplifying, we have x is greater than or equal to 5. Therefore, the solution set is from 5 to positive infinity. We use the symbol bracket. It's because of this inequality symbol greater than or equal to. So, 5 is included in the solution set. And since this is greater than, the solution set will include 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. That's why we have 5 to positive infinity. I believe that you already have grasped this lesson. But let me present to you the last example that I've prepared in my slides. We have here 100 raised to an exponent of x minus 1 is less than 1 over 10 to an exponent of x. As you can see, the base on the left side is greater than 1, but on the other side, the base is less than 1. How do you think will we solve this? Well, this is just easy. Follow me, okay? So the first thing to do is to make sure that their bases are equal. Now, 100 can be written as 10 squared, and 110 can be written as 10 to the power of negative 1. So actually, we rewrite the expressions so that they will have the same basis and then we apply the loss of exponents so this is 10 to the power of negative 1 10 to the power of negative 1 is equivalent to 110 this is according to the loss of negative exponents and then applying the power rule 2 times x is 2x 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 and the negative 1 times x is negative x this time they already have the same base so we can equate and there is no need to reverse the inequality symbol because the base is greater than 1. So it will still be less than. Now 2x minus 2 is less than negative x. So now transpose the variable on the other side and the constant on the other side. So we have here 2x plus x and then less than so negative 2 is transposed, it becomes positive 2. 2x plus x is 3x. And then less than 2. So let's isolate x, divide both sides by 3. Therefore, x is less than 2 third. Take note, it's less than. So our solution set is from negative infinity to positive 2 thirds. And take note, 2 thirds is not included in the solution set. We use the symbol parenthesis and not bracket. So that is how to solve exponential inequalities. Make sure that the base are equal and then apply the property of inequality.